BYU standing for boy y'all ugly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe you like the Mormons versus mullets vibe between BYU and Coastal Carolina. A game that only came together in a matter of days. And it's going to be one we talk about for a lot longer than that. Game of the year. Yeah, I'll say it. 13th ranked BYU looking to boost the college football playoff resume taking on the 18th ranked Coastal Carolina. Shanta clears. Here we go, Zach Wilson. What do you got waning seconds first half? Well, it's a it's a pick and it, OK, Derek Bush, but follow it away from the play because this is a home alone vibe. We know you're out here and you're all alone. <laughs> they just pile on Wilson away from the football and then the Cougars are like, no, no, that's my quarterback. They come out. We're getting chippy. We're exchanging pleasantries. I need your address. I got shutter flag coming your way. All right, fourth quarter coastal trailing. 17-16 until Grayson McCall to Cameron Brown. We're at the two-yard line. The Chanticleer's offense really picking up in the second half, and C.J. Marable, a big part of that. 23 carries, 132 yards, two touchdowns, the third multi-rushing touchdown game of the season. It's 22-17. to The home crowd is dialed in. Wilson, meanwhile, a chance down five, but you got to go length of the field, 35 seconds. That helps. Finds Gunnar Romney. 33 yards, no timeouts. We're hustling up to the line. Wilson to Dax Milne. Okay. Milne was involved in this thing. Milne, eight grabs, helping his quarterback. Later, gonna spike it, clock it, good. Seven seconds remaining. 240 pass yards for Wilson, fourth lowest in the game for him this season. It's been a great season for him. Wilson to Milne, we're getting out of bounds. Three seconds, six grabs, 106 yards, and a touchdown for Milne. Wait, we said he had a touchdown. Milne did. Is this the touchdown? It's the final shot for BYU. It's Wilson to Milne, and oh! he has stopped short of the goal line. Oh, so close. Coastal Carolina's bench is on the field. That aquamarine turf. And you can see the play from the freshman, Mateo Sidipo who wraps up Milne at the two and keeps him out of the end zone. Wilson cannot believe how close they got. It's 22-17, Coastal's first ever win over an AP top 10 team. Head coach Jamie Chadwell with a message. Well, we got choreographed in the locker room later. Hey, you need to come in there because it's going to be special. <laughs> That's the invite. That's the celebration. They get after it there after wins, and there have been 10 of them. Now, what about the playoff? Well, you know what? They're going to continue to doubt us and continue to uh, say whatever. Uh, we're putting our product on the field, and we're going up against people that they think you know are deserving of having a chance, and, and we're finding ways to win the game. Uh, and uh, I hope tonight shows people that um, we've got a program to be reckoned with, and we're and we're here to uh, you know try to state our case, continue to continue to win. But if we can if we can take care of the of the Sun Belt Championship game. You know, we've, we've faced everybody that's been in the top 25. We've done things that, that we're supposed to do, you know, and so hopefully tonight will help us take a next step and get a little closer to that. That dramatic win over BYU, <laughs> they are still unbeaten. Shannon Clear's head coach, uh, Jamie Chadwell, said he hopes it sends a message that they are programmed to be reckoned with. So, Paul, how should the playoff committee reckon with Coastal Carolina? Coach, coach message heard loud and clear. And, and I, I think there's, there's no question that Coastal should be in the top 10 this week. I don't think they're going to get in the in, inside the top four or five because of their schedule. BYU was a big win for them, but BYU was not that respected by the committee. But regardless of all that, considering how this game was put together, it was the game of the year in college football. We should definitely celebrate that. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.